Hey everyone, it's me, Megs, and I'm back with a personality unit, aka wig, and I've been on a protective style kick because I am growing my hair out. And this unit I've been loving by my first wig, and this one is very special in particular. So let me get into telling you why. So again, this unit is by my first wig. I've been a long wearer of this brand for many, many years, and I do enjoy that they made some improvements. It came with a dust bag for storage and travel and of course the details on this info card. All the info about this wig will also be down in the description below. It came with some shampoo and conditioner and of course if you are a wig beginner it came with some very essential tools that you may need. Okay so my favorite is always their combs that my first wig provides. I absolutely love these combs and I was very impressed with this wig cap because it was darker in color which matched my skin tone a lot better and these alligator clips to section off the hair when you want to blend the lace and fly away tamer okay so i'm really appreciative of all of this and an elastic band to help you melt that lace so all the essential things you need for your first time wig application if you are new to wigs so that's what i do appreciate about my first wig units it comes with everything you need at least mine did so this texture of this bob is indeed the yaki texture and this is a glueless invisible lace front wig the color is a natural color and the hair origin is indian hair the cap construction is 13 by 6 at 160 density i love this texture because it mimics relaxed blown out hair so i was really excited about this so what was really really interesting this hairline is 4c natural edges and that's what i really appreciate about this wig because i was like whoa this really gives a really nice natural look because i tend to struggle with you know blending the lace making sure the hairline looks very natural so i was super excited about trying something different with the pre-plucked lace and the deep bleached um knots in lace so i really appreciated that i really liked that I don't have to take extra time with tweezing the hairline because it's already giving very much so natural. And the cap construction is really, really nice. I've noticed, you know, the major improvements that this brand has made when it comes to their unit. So this one is a good one, okay? So it does come with two combs at the front of the wig here. And of course, there is a comb at the back with adjustable straps as well as lace in the back if you did want to put the hair up. And I do like that this does have an elastic um, band to adjust to make sure for extra security. I'm very impressed with the bleach job that was done on this unit. It's very, very clean. I noticed that there wasn't any bled bleach on this unit, which was fire so i am gonna um flat iron this hair with some care care silk and seal which is my favorite thing to use on my units and i'm just gonna apply that in sections very lightly and i'm gonna use my flat iron on 410 degrees and i'm just gonna run a quick iron through small sections on this unit all it required was one pass which is my kind of wig because i don't like wigs that require a lot of maintenance and a lot of prep work so this was ideal for me especially with this texture it only required one pass to do a cute little bump like a light bump not a heavy bump just a light bump when it comes to bobs so i was able to get through this unit pretty quickly i did wash and condition this unit prior to flat ironing it and i feel like that does uh, also give the hair a much flowier look in my opinion so i did wash and condition this hair with olaplex this time around just to give me an extra little swing when it comes to my <laughs> my unit here so i'm just going to go ahead and continue to bump and go through this unit with a light um bump at the ends and move forward with bumping the ends a little bit more just to make sure everything is really nice and uniform and i did really appreciate with this unit the cut is very clean they have really made some great improvements with you know how their units look and the construction and how clean the cuts are with the ends especially when it comes to a bob look at all that bounce and body and shine i really appreciate it and i haven't worn this texture before the yaki texture so i was very impressed i liked it so I actually did comb out the hairline just a little bit, but as you can see, the 4C edges are giving a very nice, natural, realistic look. Say, for example, you could actually leave this like this, or you can actually press it a little bit. But as you can see, it has a really nice pre-plugged hairline, and I didn't really have to do much 
really at all when it comes to having to make this look natural. So I am going to run a light um, hot comb through the edges just for a little more sleek look. But I really like that this really mimics relaxed hair. With this 4C edges, it's also giving very much so silk press, which I do appreciate. So I'm just going to continue to um, press the hair going back with this hot comb and just make sure that I flatten out the top for a nice clean look. And I'm not a baby hair girl, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Sebastian Shaper Plus, which is my favorite hairspray, especially when um, using it on my personality units. It just creates a really nice soft natural hold. And boom, as you can see here, it's giving what it's supposed to give. And I really love that the hairline is so natural to where I don't need to create baby hairs. I'm not a baby hair girl. So this really mimics very natural hairline look, very clean, very effortless. And I chose to press out the edges just a little bit and I absolutely love the 4C edge look. It looks so natural because Typically from this brand, I wear their silky textures, but I think I'm going to make the switch and actually stick to their Yaki because it looks so much more natural than I feel like the silky texture. So I've been keeping my hair in twists because I am growing my hair out and look y'all, my hair is getting longer. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put on this cap that um, my first wig provided. I really love that it's darker in color. You can do the bald cap method with this unit and it can really be slaying, but I don't wear my wigs for a really, really long time, but I'm excited about this. <laughs> yeah, I tend to take my wigs off at night, you know, oil my scalp, moisturize my hair and things like that. So I don't typically wear mine for extended amounts of time okay but I'm loving how this is looking it's giving natural it's giving natural it's giving is this your hair I wore this unit um to an event and my sister got in the car she's like wait did you cut your hair again I'm like girl no it's a wig she's like shut up <laughs> so I love this unit and it's giving natural I'm loving it so far but in this video I had to make sure I actually like this unit before I cut the lace and I'm liking how flowy it is. I'm loving the cut. I just love bobs, period. So I felt comfortable to cut this lace because at that moment, I realized that I like this unit. This one's a winner. This one's a winner. And it's giving very much so work appropriate, too. Like, you can put this on for work and be cute, you know? So when I cut my lace, I kind of do it in, like, zigzag, jagged edge look because it just gives more of a natural look. If I were to wear this glueless, which is how I tend to wear my units majority of the time. But I am going to use this olive oil wig grip spray by Organic Root Stimulator or aka or R Us. And I just do a couple pumps at a time when applying this to my lace because I don't want to over glue it because I do remove my wigs at night to sleep. But this wig grip spray hands down has to be my favorite because it really helps melt the lace into my skin because I am darker and the lace just really melts so effortless with this wig spray and it doesn't give me flashback because that's so important because I go to events and you don't want that embarrassing lace flashback look and with this wig I did not have that so I am gonna go ahead and let that sit as far as the melting goes with the elastic band, I let it sit for about 20 minutes. And I was shook because I was like, wait a minute, I'm melted without the effort. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes these wigs can be a bit tricky, but this wig was really easy to apply and to blend with my skin tone. So I really, really like this unit. Like, I had joy <laughs> in my spirit <laughs> with this unit. So I was like, oh, this one's a keeper. It's really giving natural. So yes, y'all, I really like this like a lot. And what I also love is that it didn't require me to apply a lot of spray glue because I typically don't like to use glue. So I'm just going to do some finishing touches, making sure the top is nice and flat. And I'm just loving this so much. And I really, in my opinion, I didn't really have to put a lot of concealer on this hair at all. I really didn't put on any concealer in the parts because the lace was bleached so well. I felt like it was just enough. It didn't really need any concealer at all. But the overall, the texture of this hair was really nice and flowy. It wasn't stiff and 
The hairline with the 4C edges is so, so natural. I will definitely say this is very beginner friendly for sure, or just low maintenance friendly. And you know what? I'm actually not even mad at the side part, but I wanted to see what the middle part would give because I'm more of a middle part girl. And I actually went to an event this week and I decided to middle part it. And it gave. I was like, oh, this is cute too. So you can either do a side part or a middle part. And my sister, when I picked her up, she was like, I really thought this was your hair. I thought you cut your hair again. So this is going to hold me over so I won't have that itch to cut my real hair. I'll just put this wig on and really enjoy the bob look that I really, really enjoy. So it's very, um, you know, flowy. How is a lot of movement to it? And it's like stiff wear not here <laughs> so if you do have any questions feel free to ask me and all the information about this glueless wig will be down in the description below and as always thank you so much for watching and stick around to watch more of my protective style videos using my first wig units here right on my channel and i'll see you guys later